Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite luxury body care. Now this video was very interesting because I'm not really that girl, but I'm learning that <laughs> maybe I am. Can't believe I have this large accumulation of a luxury body care because, well, we'll get into it. If you'd like to see all of my top luxury body care items, then please keep watching. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? I usually focus on luxury and or beauty, well, and luxury beauty, but not so much luxury body care. This is, this is an interesting video. Let me just be first to say that I am the girl who previously did not even purchase Dove brand body wash. You know, that bottle that we all know. I was not that girl, reason being, why would I pay $10 for a body cleanser when I can get the Target brand for three or four? So that's how serious this is for me. I am someone who likes adding luxury into my lifestyle, but I was not raised to just spend money on everything luxurious just because you have it. Not to say that anything's wrong with that. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with me liking luxury body care right now. I just wasn't raised this way. So this has been an interesting journey for me. Uh, you're gonna see products that are across different price ranges, different brands, <sighs> and I can't believe it. I would have to say that social media made me do this. Like you guys did it. You guys started talking about a few of these products. I got hooked. Before I knew it, I was down the rabbit hole and now I can't stop, okay? I literally use four body washes in the shower. Like, who am I? It's crazy, but let's get into it. So I'm gonna start just going down the list, like how I wash my body in the shower. So let's start with cleansers. Now, as I said, there are a plethora of cleansers, luxury cleansers that I love. The first that I tried, or maybe not the first, but this is the Rituals line. Now, I love Rituals because it's luxurious, but it's not super high priced. So out of all the body washes that I'm going to share today, this line is the most affordable. The Rituals Harmonizing Foam shower gel in the scent the ritual of ayurveda and it's indian rose and sweet almond oil and it smells sweet and delicious i'm not really a foam body wash lover but if you're looking for a foamy cleanser rituals is your way to go they're hydrating they're lush the lather is really thick the foam is luxurious you know how some foams are like see-through not this one it's a really thick thick, a thick, thick, a really thick foam. They're hydrating. They're really smooth on the skin. I love them. They're scented so beautifully. I have these in probably every scent that came with the line. Not the biggest shower foam person, but if I'm looking for a foam, I really like Rituals. So if you're looking for something to ease your way into luxury body care, I would definitely say try out Rituals because I believe these are about $13. The next cleanser I'm going to share is the first luxury body product I ever tried that became a staple in my routine. Ah, the one that everybody uses, the Necessaire Body Wash in the scent Eucalyptus. Now, as you can see, I've almost used this bottle up. I love this cleanser because it has niacinamide in it, which is great for your pores. So it helps to like extract your pores and give you really smooth, clear pores. But it also feels really nice. It's a nice lather. Uh, it really gives you an invigorating, clean feeling. So I use this as my first cleanse. Like I said, I cleanse my body four times. This is the first. The eucalyptus scent smells amazing. It has this twist top, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about dropping a top in the shower. I love this. It's a simple, effective shower gel. It's not too foamy, but the lather is really, really nice. The scent is the reason why I will repurchase this. I think you could probably find other body cleanses that are as nice, but the scent, and that's one reason why I'm really into luxury body care. It's for the scent, okay? The same reason why I love fragrance, if you can put a fragrance in my cleanser and my shower and my whole bathroom can smell like the spa, that's what this does to me. So I love it. I don't think I would try any other scent. It is not like super, super amazing, blow you out of the water. It doesn't hydrate my skin, but it gives you a really nice squeaky clean feeling without stripping your skin, but it's not hydrating and the scent is amazing. The next cleanser that I wanna talk about is actually in my shower because I used it today. So I will pop a picture in the screen. This is the best luxury body cleanser ever. 
It is the L'Occitane Amand Shower Oil. You all told me about this product. I didn't want to try it. I didn't want to try it because I didn't want to try a $30 body wash. But the moment I tried it, I was hooked. This is hands down my favorite because it's actually hydrating. Now, because of such, it's the last cleanse that I used. So I use the necessary cleanser first, then I use a feminine wash on my girly parts. Then I go in with the L'Occitane cleansing oil. And then after I'm finished cleaning and exfoliating my body, I'll use it again before I get out of the shower because I want that scent to last. Make it last forever, ever. We wanna make it last. That scent is almond, but it's like a vanilla almond. It's, it's very powdery. It smells like a Cabbage Patch Kid. It's actually hydrating. Now, it is an oil, but it's not going to feel oily on your skin. It does suds up really well for a shower oil. I love it. It's smooth and silky. The scent is amazing. If I had to only repurchase one, it would probably be that one. Perfection. And the last body cleanser that I'm going to talk about is my newest favorite, and this is from Way. So this is the Way body cleanser in Melrose Place, and the scent is why I'm hooked. Like y'all know, it's all about fragrance. I love it. So Melrose Place from Way smells like champagne, peony, white florals, and citrus. It's beautiful, it's clean, it smells bubbly. Oh, you will have a shower gasm. It just smells like peony, grapes, champagne. It just smells like luxury. It smells like have me sit in a tub and have a man fan me with a palm leaf and feed me grapes and champagne. Right. It is amazing. The scent is really, really nice, but it also lathers really well. Feels really smooth on the skin. It creates a lush foam. You know what I mean? Like it's not a foaming gel, but it creates like a lush light foam. I love this so much. The scent has me captured. It has a chocolate cold on me I had to buy away for my dog okay way you know what you're doing you have me in a chokehold <laughs> choke me it's everything I love this cleanser so much you will not be disappointed my friend Kendra told me about this line two years ago and I said I'm not trying it I knew I couldn't be that girl to spend $30 on a cleanser and look where I am now she was right and it's amazing okay let's get on to body scrubs the first scrub that I've been using for a little over a year is the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA from First Aid Beauty. I love this scrub for my KP, which is Keratosis Pilaris, which I have on the backs of my thighs. It's like when your hair follicles get clogged with keratin and it creates rough, bumpy skin. And nothing is less sexy in the summertime or springtime or winter than having clogged pores on your skin because you wanna feel soft and supple and luxurious. So I really love this. Now, I have heard one one person say that this doesn't work for them. I don't have super, super textured skin. So maybe if you have a lot of KP or eczema, this won't work for you. But for me, it works really well. I use it once a week kind of as like a treatment and I love it. It gets rid of all the texture on the back of my leg. It also has 10% AHAs in it, which are alpha hydroxy acids. So this is a chemical and a manual exfoliant. I love it, love it, love it. It works fabulously for me and it gets rid of my KP. The next scrub that I'm obsessed with is of course By Way. So this is the scalp and body scrub and this smells like Melrose Place and I just want to eat it. <sighs> So this is another product that my friend Kendra told me about and I didn't want to try it. I just didn't want to get into luxury body care because I knew this would happen. I knew I'd be spending $100 or $300 on my shower routine and I'm not happy about it, but I love this product. So this is a scalp and body scrub. I will be honest, if you are an African American or a woman of color or a man of color, a person of color, you're probably not going to like this in your hair. I have not used it as such because I just feel like it would be too messy. I don't think this is made for us in that way, but as a, in that way, <laughs> no pun intended, but as a body scrub, amazing. Now I'll be first to say, it isn't the most abrasive scrub that's going to get your skin super, super smooth. I don't like it for that. It's the lather. I have never used an exfoliating scrub that lathers. This creates such a lush, like coating of foam on your arm when you use it. It's luxurious and the scent is amazing. Once again, don't expect your skin to feel amazing, amazing because it's not the most abrasive as far as a scrub. But if you want a lush, thick, hydrating scrub, 
that smells amazing and heavenly, check out this product, by the way. They also do have it in another scent. I haven't tried it yet, but this is fabulous. I have one more scrub I wanna talk about, and this is from Kapari. This is the Coconut Crush Scrub, and they have changed the packaging. You all, I love this scrub so much. So as you can see, I have different scrubs for different things. If you want the most hydrating scrub ever, it's this Kapari one. It has coconut oil in it. I always tell the story, if you use this scrub, take care as to not fall. It is going to make your tub or shower so slippery that you will fall. So I always use this at the end of my shower routine. It gets my arms so super smooth. You know when you have like an oil on your skin and you get wet, how you can see the beads of water? That's how this makes your skin look because it imparts so much moisture from that coconut oil. This is the most hydrating scrub ever obsessed it's so great okay then out of the shower i put on my deodorant and i have recently switched over into using natural deodorants i never thought i would be that girl because i run hot and i sweat a lot and i live in the hot humid south but my first favorite is the mega babe daily deodorant in the scent rosy pits so this is a great deodorant it's a nice thicker consistency it's a traditional like stick the scent is amazing it's a powdery rose you all know I live for a good rose but what I like about this is that it's a stick so it doesn't drip I do still sweat using it but a lot of deodorants that don't have aluminum parabens and everything like that you are going to sweat that's the biggest transition for me but besides that I really love this deodorant I use this when I'm working out or when I'm going to be outside for a long period of time and it's hot because I don't want to start dripping but I get no scent with this as far as like a nasty scent. I didn't have to deal with the dreaded detox period. This is just a really great deodorant. Everybody is telling the truth. My next favorite deodorant is by Necessaire and this is the deodorant gel and I have it in the scent Eucalyptus but it also comes in unscented. So this is an interesting natural deodorant. Once again, it's aluminum free, it's paraben free, it's all natural, but it has AHAs in it, which not only help to exfoliate your skin, lighten your skin, but they also help to fight odor. I love this gel so much, but the reason why I can't use it all the time is because it's a gel. So when I work out, it's a disaster because I, I'm just dripping everywhere. So I would say this is great for cooler months or if you're not going to be doing anything that's really active, but this is supposed to help fight discoloration also. So I can't wait to see those results. Now I do wax my underarms, so they're already lightened, but I'm really loving this. The scent is nice, it's effective. I have never had any bad odor using it and I'm shocked. Like necessary has changed my body care game for sure. Another product that I use straight out of the shower, I don't have with me because I used it this morning before my workout is the Boob Dust from Mega Babe. So they sent me over a bunch of products and I haven't yet tried them all, but that Boob Dust is amazing. It's an all natural product. It smells a little of lavender, but it's not too highly fragranced. It is amazing. It's very, very finely milled. If you have a larger bust like myself and you sweat, if you go to the gym, if you work out, you you know that boob sweat is something that nobody wants to deal with. I get it between my breasts, on the sides, the band of my bra, it's just too much and I like to feel fresh and clean. So I spray two pumps of it down between my cleavage. I get it all good and then when I sweat, I don't feel wet in my chest. So I really love that product. I think that's going to be a staple in my routine for sure. And once again, who am I with all these expensive products? Like I don't know who I am anymore, but I love it. Like. What's happening? <laughs> okay, next I want to talk about body hydrators. I still use good old faithful Nivea, but I do have two products that are more luxurious. The first is my Josie Marin Intensive Daily Repair Body Butter with Colloidal Oatmeal and Argan Oil. It's amazing. Now, as you guys can see, I hit the bottom of this jar. When I first received this product from the brand, though this is not a sponsored video, I was like, I don't really know how I'm gonna like this. I don't have eczema or so I thought. I have body butters that I like. Maybe it'll be great for winter. It was winter, but I fell in love with this. Now it's very expensive. I believe it's like $46, but if you have eczema, this is going to be your favorite body butter. I have eczema on my chest, a little bit of it, and this always clears it up so I try to use it every day but sometimes I forget colloidal oatmeal is perfect for eczema so that's why I love this it also has argan oil in it which is very hydrating so this is a staple for me during the winter but now I use it all the time because of my eczema this is amazing I can't like who am I spending this much on a body butter like I can't 
can't. The next product that I love is the Kapari Coconut Melt, and like I said, they have since changed the packaging of everything. Now, I won't bother showing you what this looks like because you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's pretty much a solid coconut oil that does melt when it is applied to your skin. I love it. This is unscented, but they do have scented versions. I love this in the summertime when I want my skin to glow. So if I'm stepping out during the day or at night and I'm gonna have my legs or arms showing, I put this on because coconut oil makes you glow. So I really, really love this product. Now, coconut oil is also healing. So if you have a rash or anything like that, people have said that this really helps. I don't really deal with any skin irritation like that besides my eczema. I should see if this works on my eczema, but I only use this in the hotter months on my body when I wanna shine. Coconut oil is a really lightweight consistency. This has a great absorption rate, so it doesn't make me feel greasy, which is important for me. I love it. My next product I don't have in front of me, it is the Fur Body Oil, and this is an oil for your intimate area, or your underarms, or your head, or your legs, anywhere where you grow hair or where you remove hair. So I use it where I wax. I get a Brazilian wax every month, that's just what I like. That helps to keep my skin really smooth and hydrated and it also helps to prevent ingrown hairs. Now ingrown hairs I think are best prevented by exfoliating but hey do what works for you. I love this oil because it's lightly scented, it's not too fragranted and it makes my skin feel amazing. Now if you don't wax or if you don't shave you can use it to soften your hair and really hydrate it. That product is a staple. It's very, very pricey, but it lasts about six months and I can't live without it. My next product is of course a sunscreen because girl or guy, if you're not using a sunscreen, your body is thirsty and it's mad at you. So my favorite is the Super Goop Play sunscreen. This is antioxidant infused and it's SPF 50. Now this is my favorite sunscreen to use for summer, spring, anytime I'm gonna be outside, winter, fall, because it's a spray. I don't like having to rub, rub, rub a thick and nasty sunscreen in. I love this because I can shake it up, spray it, and then lightly rub it in, or sometimes I don't rub it in at all. It also has vitamin C, which is a powerful antioxidant. Vitamin C and sunscreen work really well together, so I love this. It is a little bit pricier, but I love the texture of it. It also doesn't have that like strong sunscreen smell. Super Goop has some of my favorite sunscreens, and this is fabulous. And my last product, none other than Kapari, and this is their Pink Souffle Body Mask. I was really skeptical of this product at first because I'm like, body mask? I've never heard of a body mask, but you do in fact probably need a body mask. If you have body acne, if your skin gets very dry after being in the sun, you are going to love this product because it has coconut oil, kaolin clay, it also has bentonite clay and niacinamide and dragon fruit. Niacinamide is great for your pores. I think that is what helps to extract any type of acne that you're getting. I love this so much. I get acne on my chest sometimes because of fragrance and wearing my seatbelt and clothing. This really helps to get that pore extracted and it also leaves your skin feeling so hydrated like you just put jelly on it and your skin absorbed it. It feels really nice also. It feels like pudding. You leave it on for about 20 minutes and then you rinse it off. It says you're supposed to like wash your body but I don't do all that. Out of the shower, I'll apply a patch. I let it sit for about 20 minutes and I use a washcloth or my Clean Skin Club towel in my case and I just gently wipe it away. This is actually amazing though. Like I said, I was really skeptical but it works really well. Shout out to Kap <laughs> Shout out to Kapari, we're here for it. So guys, those are all of my favorite luxury body care products. I know this video was kind of long, but that just goes to show how much I love luxury body care. I don't know who I am anymore, but I think I like it on this side and I'm gonna stay. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are some of your favorite luxury body care items. What do I need to add to my already long shower routine? Definitely let me know. I love you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.